Hello art lovers, welcome to my window art gallery. I am Loretta, a soothsayer of culture through art. I'm uh, doing these video series to help people find their voice when they look at art, to view art, and to realize that you are correct. How, what you think and feel, what stories come up for you, is correct because it's through your lens, through your filter, through your life. So I am a viewer and you are a viewer. So if um, you could pause the video at some point and write down what you think and feel, what this uh, art composition brings up for you, so that it, when I talk about what it brings up for me, it doesn't influence you in your perception. But if you need some help to get going, certainly listen to my view first and try to get some momentum going so you can find your voice and have your opinions. And if you get brave, you could write it down below in the comment section. I look forward to hearing it and seeing what comes up for you. So um, this art composition is on drywall. It is drywall mud, and the composition size is 29 inches by 25 inches. Uh, it's called Through the Eye of the Mare. Um, so pause the video now if you like and take some time to write out what you want. Okay, let's get into it. What this brings up for me is working with uh, horses at equine therapy, the leading edge equine therapy in Woodstock with Monique and her horses. Um, when I first showed up there, I was it, it reflected the eye, the horse reflected back to me how I was feeling and thinking. Horses are uh, prey animals, so they're very in tune with their own feelings and thoughts, and they react very quickly to um, and trust the energy that they're feeling around them, which in our culture we're kind of dumbed down or numbed out of being in touch with how we're feeling. So when I first showed up with the horses, I expected to be fine. I didn't think it was going to be a problem. I didn't really know what equine therapy was. I was there just to try it out. And um, because I was around cows at the farm on the weekends with my grandmother's farm, I never thought that it would be a problem. But I go into this equine therapy where you stand beside horses and you try to put them through these different kinds of mazes and different kinds of activities. This fear rose up in me. The, it, this fear was so great that I was totally shocked. I could almost not stand beside the horses. I had to leave the stable at one point uh, just to get grounded and to try and to breathe the anxiety. It just was overwhelming. And it was through this eye of the horse. When I first saw these horses' eyes, I was so scared. And yet it was just reflecting to me what was going on inside of me. And yet I would never have thought I was a person full of fear. I was a tomboy. I was... I made myself strong because of my childhood and being raised in a home that was um, had old patriarchy views and had injuries, uh, mental injuries that weren't addressed by men with the man in the house that was um, a narcissist. And um, he had his own injuries from his life. So it was a lot of violence and power and control. And um, so over time, you know, being brought up in a culture of patriarchy and you know, all of this uh, pushback every time you try to rise up, there's this pushback in patriarchy. I didn't know it was there. These subtle attacks, probably not so subtle, but I was dumbed down from it. I was numbed out from it. I expected that it was normal. It's not normal. When I was working with the horses, they were not uh, pushy or they were very inclusive and they would just back off if they felt afraid. They just backed off and they waited. And they came back. But when I first looked at the horse's eye, I was so full of fear. And then after working with the horses for a year, you know, um, these are all, these lines for me are all the times that I, I went with and worked with the horses and um, how it smoothed out uh, some of my um, misconceptions about myself and per perceptions and got more in tune and in line with how I was feeling as a human being, my natural responses, when you work with babies, they naturally will feel and express uh, exactly how they feel. They're not filtered. They don't filter. They are just naturally 
in tune with how they're feeling. And if they feel scared, they'll cry. You know, they'll pick up on those emotions and trust them. Over time, we've learned to ignore them and to push them down. So these horses, after working for a year with these horses, slowly these things would um, straighten out for me, thanks to the horses and the reflection in the horse's eye. So, um, and then at the end, now when I look in a horse's eye, I, it's totally different. I feel acceptance and inclusion and trust, and I feel gratitude to the horses and Monique for uh, helping me get through some really rough times, and the fear was just off the charts, and it's such a shock and such a duality and a paradigm shift to, to go in with that fear, and then now when I go around a horse, I just feel uh, so different. So that's what this composition means to me. Um, I put it in the series as If These Walls Could Talk, an online drywall series. And um, so this might mean something totally different for you. So I invite you to come back to keep exploring what art means to you to help you find out what your voice again, to get your views and what matters to you to come up and out and uh, to be expressed freely. And um, thank you for visiting my window art gallery. You could be anywhere you wanted to be, and you chose to be here, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Have a great day.